After an intense four-day search, accused killer Jamie Hood is finally in custody in Athens this morning. His run from the law came to a dramatic end on live television last night. Jennifer Leslie is here with a close-up look at how it happened. And Jen, the GBI asked us to provide a live pool of his surrender. Yet, yeah, Jill, very unusual. It was one of his demands, the main demands in the negotiation process. The GBI director said live coverage was Hood's life insurance policy to make sure he did not get hurt. You'll hear the voice of my colleague Doug Richards on the scene, and you'll see images captured by photojournalist Tyson Paul. Long negotiation. There he is right there. Investigators say Jamie Hood insisted on turning himself in on live television. Uh, yeah, Jamie Hood, major emerging Charlotte. At 11:18 last night, he walked out in the middle of a line of hostages. Jamie Hood was watching the media attention on the manhunt, and he knew that he could not escape. So he was cutting his best deal, and uh, that's what uh, that was to our satisfaction for this to end peace. Jamie, any regrets about what happened? You go to the PD. Can you uh, elaborate on that? I, I was threatened for killing that uh, officer. You were what? Uh, that officer, innocent officer. No, I was threatened for killing it, though. He ain't deserved that. Well, you saw that? Why'd you do it? You know, they killed my brother. I, they were going to kill me. You know, I did something wrong. It's their job. You did something wrong. You know. Jamie, did you threaten the people inside the house? Hey, I don't want to talk, bro. Okay. Hood had been negotiating by phone with law enforcement for about eight hours. He made a special request to talk to Bryant Gant, a former UGA football player who knew Hood by name but not well. He was scared of the whole situation. He was ready to get it over with. He was tired. He was worn out. He was ready to get it over with. Investigators say Hood was armed, agitated, and doing drugs during the negotiations. Some of the hostages told us they've known him for years. He was calm. He was real calm. He wanted to give himself up. I guess that's why he wanted to be around us. He wanted somebody to save him. I'm just glad he in the way it in, you know what I'm saying? Nobody else getting hurt. Everything worked out fine. They got who they wanted, you know what I'm saying? Hood kept talking to the hostages and police about his brother, who was killed 10 years ago by an Athens Clark County police officer acting in self defense. We're still waiting for word on Hood's first court appearance and whether he'll face the death penalty. Live in the Information Center, Jennifer Leslie, 11 Alive News. All right, Jen, thank you. And among those watching the TV coverage of Hood's surrender were Bud and Carolyn Christian, the parents of the officer killed. And Bud Christian tells 11 Alive's John Shirek he forgives Hood, but let justice now be done. Some people are bigger, stronger than the tragedies in their lives. It was a sigh of relief. Bud Christian tells me after watching the televised apprehension of Jamie Hood, the fugitive accused of killing his son, senior police officer Buddy Christian, he's relieved, thankful, not bitter, not angry. I believe that uh, everyone in Georgia will sleep a lot better tonight knowing that, uh, that he's in custody. Bud Christian is surrounded in his home by the toys he keeps for Buddy's two-year-old son and five-year-old daughter when they come over to play, and he is determined that they grow up knowing who their father was, a man of faith whose ministry was policing, who believed in second chances for others, and forgiveness. He touched the lives of many, many people, and he, if he had had the opportunity, he would have been Jamie's friend, and he would have tried to help him as well. But he wasn't given that opportunity his, because his life was cut short uh, through this act of violence. The outpouring of, uh, of love has just been tremendous. Clark County pulling together in order to get something like this done. And it just restores my faith in, in my fellow man. Some people are bigger, stronger than the tragedies in their lives. In Athens, John Shirick, 11 Alive News. Elmer Christian will be laid to rest this weekend. A visitation is scheduled for this afternoon. His funeral is at 2 o'clock Sunday at the Classic Center in Athens. Residents are asked to line the roadway from downtown to the cemetery in his honor.